Alright, it's time for the direct to start in about two minutes. Hey guys, me of the East, and it's E3 once again. And hard to believe it, it's already been a year since I started doing these videos, and I don't know about many of you who actually watch these are very favorable since I don't have a video editing software, but I do what I can, and especially when it's all off camera. <laughs> now, well, to start off, my second year of videos, hopefully by then I'll actually get a video editing software so this can work this. But anyway, we'll start off E3 2015 with a Nintendo Direct on Smash Brothers. Now the thing is that's going to be a problem here is that I've been in, many of us have already seen the release that happened yesterday. For those of you who haven't, consider yourselves lucky because this was blowing up everywhere yesterday. I mean, two characters were unveiled. And I won't say who they are, but for those of you who haven't, consider yourself surprised when this direct goes up. <sighs> but I'll be honest, I was, I was in denial that the rumors that were being leaked about, I was ready to deny them when I heard them. But when I took a look, I was genuinely surprised. But, I'm hoping to see something new from this direct that wasn't leaked yesterday. And surprisingly, Nintendo hasn't caught wind of that. I just feel bad that this stuff got leaked. I mean, the creator has done all he can to make a, a surprise for all of us. Now, hopefully, we can give him a surprise at least. Just as boggles my mind, like why people would leak stuff. Oh, here we go. All right, let's go. All right. So who's going first? Yep. Here's Roy. <laughs> See, that's the deal. Yeah, get on there, Roy. Ah, the melee favorite's finally back. Now, uh, third DLC. Look at how he is. He is very strong this time. <laughs> Oh, I just love Roy! Five Fire Emblem characters. I mean, that's incredible. <laughs> Critical hit! Still awesome! Hello, I'm Masahiro Sakurai. Hello, Sakurai. Let's cut right to the chase. In Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS, Roy is returning to the series. Yep. Last time, Roy appeared as a fighter in Super Smash Brothers Melee. Unlike Marth, Roy's sword is stronger at its base, so you'll want to keep your opponents close when using it. Mm -hmm. With enhanced strength, he's significantly more <laughs> Just love Roy! My favorite since Melee! His design received an overhaul too. His original look has been updated to look more in line with the times. In Melee, he didn't have a final smash, but this time he'll deliver a devastating sword blow and move straight out of fire. Yep, his critical hit from Sealed Sword. He'll be made available alongside the revival of Lucas. Ooh! Look, he's back out today? From Super Smash Brothers Melee, and Lucas returns from Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Nice! Of the many fighters from past versions, I hope fans are happy to have back these two that were particularly popular. <laughs> Here's the price information for each. Awesome! So they come out today. Next, some new Mii Fighter costumes. Get ready for some unexpected titles. Yep, and the Mii costumes. Yeah, Mega Man EXE. By far my favorite Mega Man variation. 
Yep, here's zero. For those of you who know, these costumes were also leaked the other day. <laughs> I still find this hilarious. Ugh, those things still look creepy. Yeah, they look very creepy. I still wish they would become proper characters. Yep, virtual fighter. <laughs> the blocky texture, that's funny. <laughs> As for new Mii Fighter costumes, there's Virtual Fighter. Jackie's costume is a leather jacket based on his most recent design. Akira's harkens back to his blocky design in the original Virtual Fighter. <laughs> That's funny. Now the legendary 3D fighting game Virtual Fighter is represented in Super Smash Bros. We hope you like it. And because of series popularity, we're adding in costumes for Mega Man EXC and Zero from Mega Man X. <laughs> Isabel from Animal Crossing. And even the Inklings from Splatoon. Let's not forget in-game Splatoon trophies too. Here are the prices for these additional new costumes. By the way, while we've released many amiibo already, Jeez. these amiibo are finally on their way. Ah! Me fighters. These include me fighter amiibo, me brawler, me sword fighter, and me gunner. You can configure any of these amiibo freely, meaning you can dress them up in DLC costumes too. Create a face to your liking and pick a matching costume to expand your use of these. Awesome! Well, we know the next amiibo that everyone's going to go after. There are other Super Smash Bros. series amiibo coming too. First, three classic game stars Rob, Duck Hunt, and Mr. Game & Watch. So loud! Then comes Falco. As you can see, Mr. Game & Watch is flat, <laughs> and he comes with a number of different poses you can swap out. Ah! A poseable amiibo. All these amiibo figures will be available this September. All gone right now. Eventually, all 51 fighters from Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS will be released as amiibo. Having all these characters appearing in the same set like this there's nothing else quite like it. Of course, you can level them up one by one. Mewtwo and Lucas Amiibo will be released as well. You can check for more details and release dates on the official Amiibo site. And finally, we're releasing more stages. Yep. Yep. Brings back memories, doesn't it? Kirby 64. This is Dreamland. It's a Kirby stage from the original Super Smash Bros. game on Nintendo 64. Uh, We've intentionally replicated the original stage. style, but we did remove certain parts. You know, like the pet platforms? Of course, this stage also has an Omega form. We've recreated this stage for both the Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. There we games. go! The price is listed right here. So the 3DS gets new stages as well. I don't think we can add too many more stages. But we're planning a couple more from the original Super Smash Bros. Ah! Game. Here's a little taste. Yeah, Hyrule Castle! Oh, this is my favorite stage in 64. Yep. And Mario 64. It's cool that they're bringing back the 64 stages. The Miiverse stage is finally coming to the Wii U version. Took you long enough! During matches while connected to the internet, you'll we'll start to see Miiverse posts appear, cheering fighters on in the background. These messages will be fueled by your support. Porn! Porn everywhere! We'll be opening a Miiverse community <laughs> for each character, so if you post your messages there, they'll show up in the background of players' matches. 
I'm sure it's exciting to think that your post will appear in someone else's matches, so please participate. On the bonus CD that was available from Club Nintendo, there are some songs that you may never have actually heard in the game. They're from this Miiverse stage. I hope you like this music too. Yep, here we go. As for the price, yes, the Miiverse stage is free to enjoy. I figured it had to be free. Now for an announcement regarding tourneys. Ah, oh, finally! The new tourneys mode will feature community tourneys where you can compete for the highest points in a certain amount of time, as well as regular tourneys, which only happen at certain times. Finally! Like real We're waiting for these to come up. We already finished developing both types, but we want to make sure we test out the online features thoroughly, so please wait just a bit longer. Ah, oh, come on, I want this tourney to come out. supporting them in August, so stay tuned. <sighs> Hopefully I can play these sometime when they come out then. There's another new feature in the works. Hmm. Super Smash Bros. for Wii U will soon allow you to post replay videos on YouTube. Now that's going to get a lot easier. When you applied updates, your old data would usually cease to be compatible with the updated version. But with this new replay posting feature, you can record videos and post them on YouTube. Now that's make it a lot easier. There'll be normal video files, so replay. you can view them from your PC or smartphone too. To use this feature, you'll need a Google account. For details, please check the official site after the service begins. I am already streaming on YouTube. Now for the final announcement, please take a look. And we already know what that is. Yeah! <laughs> Great old watch for Street Fighter 2. Nice. Alright! Yep! Yeah, Ryu! <laughs> so this is Smash. Come on! Oh man. One character that I didn't think anybody was expecting. Yeah, I love reading from Street Fighter. Two final smashes! Alright! <laughs> hey, Hachi! <laughs> There Thank you, Missy. There's the mate. Ryu of the Street Fighter series There's joins the spot. Costume. He arrives in Super Smash Bros. seeking powerful opponents. He's being created to most closely resemble his Street Fighter 2 form. In that game, there were six buttons, but Smash focuses on two. Yet somehow, he'll have a wide range of moves at his disposal. Yep. He'll be a really Ryu's technical character. character. Light, medium, and heavy versions. That's because the move you activate depends on whether you tap the button or press and hold the button. Ah. You can use completely different moves from light to heavy by holding the button longer. Mm -hmm. Rapidly tap the button to chain attacks or hold it longer for a strong attack. Yeah. This is important when using a You can be very technical to figure out. You can have a weak side attack or a strong side attack. You can use familiar Street Fighter moves too. Collarbone Breaker is a great shield breaking move. And Jodan Sokutogeri is a move from Street Fighter 3. In general, the diary is a joke foot. Out <laughs> some of these combos appear in Street Fighter games, and there are some new ones too. And of course, his signature move. You can activate a Hadoken with the press of a button. Remember, you can change the speed of the move by altering how long you press and hold it down. 
For the Hadouken, we've also accommodated Street Fighter's familiar command inputs. When you enter its original command, the move is a bit stronger. Another type of Hadouken, the Shakunetsu Hadouken, can be activated by entering a Yoga Flame command. There's also the Hurricane Kick. It's hugely destructive, oh, and it can be used for movement too. Now, for the invincible finishing move, the Shoryu Ken. Say hello to the new combo master of Smash you can Brothers. You the Shoryu Ken with just one button press. But if you enter the original command input, there's a good chance you will KO your opponent. Try making contact at the start of the animation. If you input the command correctly, the character's voice and effects will change, so trust me, you'll know. His down special move is called the Focus Attack. Mm -hmm. It lets you take a hit from your opponent and stun them. Keep pressing the button to increase its power. If you hit yeah. the opponent, press forward twice to cancel the animation and dash. Oh, he has forward dash canceling. <laughs> and Ryu has two final smashes. He's the first fighter in Super Smash Bros. history to have that. If you perform his final smash the normal way, it's a Shinku Hadouken. It'll hit surrounding opponents as well. Pull it off next to an opponent. And you'll have the chance to seal the deal. Longer hit stop frames, different hit sound effects, and more. We developed this fighter to highlight his special characteristics. I hope you enjoy playing as him. We're also releasing the new stage in Suzaku Castle. Yeah. The right side provides stable footing, while the left side has smaller separated platforms. That means your strategy needs to adapt to the side you're on. And when you launch your opponent at close range, you can actually destroy the side. <laughs> like Street Fighter. In Omega form, it looks even closer to the original game. Yeah. The stage will appear on both Wii U and there we go. DS versions. For the background music, you can select the theme from the used stage in the original game. During the battle, the music will switch to a different theme when you near the end of the match. Oh. That's also new to the Smash series. I should mention, in the Wii U version, Ken's original stage theme is included, and a remix too. There's even a remix of the theme from Ryu's stage. This one was arranged by Street Fighter II's sound composer, Ms. Yoko Shimomura. Ah! Plus, the character's illustration was done by the original character designer, Akima. Ah, nice. That's a cool We've also poster. started a Ryu trophy, and a Ken trophy, too. You can, of course, get these in-game trophies just by playing the game. We put a lot of effort into implementing Ryu into these games. Enjoy! Yeah. Ryu and Suzaku Castle come as a set for the prices you see on screen. Oh, I almost forgot. It's somewhat unrelated, but representing Tekken. Another first. With a Mii Fighter Jeez. They're really going all out with third party too. stuff. Three top fighting games have now united in Super Smash Bros. Please enjoy. Man. We've already decided to create amiibo of Roy and Ryu as well. Yep. The release timing yes. hasn't been finalized yet, but please check back on the official amiibo site later. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's review everything. Ryu, Roy, Lucas, Akira, Jackie, Isabel, Man. Mega Man EXE, Zero. Inkling Boy and Inkling Girl, Squid Hat, for a minute right, this revealed a lot, Dreamland, The Miiverse Stage, Suzaku Castle, Omega Form Stages, The Bonus Trophies, Ryu, Ken, Roy, Lucas, and Splatoon. You can also get these special trophies by completing All Star Mode. Mm -hmm. All of these will be released today.
available yeah. in game or from the Nintendo eShop. The servers may experience quite a bit of traffic. Of course. Give it some time and try again if you experience it. So they all come up today. Awesome. Thanks for watching today's presentation. Be sure to tune in later today for the Nintendo World Championships 2015. Oh, I will. <laughs> awesome. Oh, man. What a way to kick off the E3. Oh, that was a good finish. Well, I know what I'm doing afterwards. Well, everyone, hope you had a great E3, and I'll catch you later for my regular videos. So, until then, take care.